What's up? This is Phil from All That Remains, and she just rubbed her boob on me. I'm Jeannie. You're watching Altitude. All That Remains, led by former Shadows Fall frontman Phil Labonte, have been on the road non-stop since last year's Ozfest in support of their latest disc, The Fall of Ideals. I caught up with the band in LA before their opening slot for Bullet For My Valentine. Last year you were on Ozfest, you've done Sound of the Underground. Yep. Um, what kind of um, festival plans you got for the summer, or do you? We've got a festival plan of sitting at home and taking some time off yeah. and writing some new stuff. Um, we're gonna go home after, after Barbecuing, barbecuing, and drinking. We're talking about going to Mexico sometime this summer. Um, there may be a European trip in there too. So we'll see. We got a lot of a lot of stuff going on, but it's it's uh, it's really time for us to go home and start to to, to write new stuff because we want to be in the studio early next year. So what's the most unmetal thing about all that remains? Me. You? <laughs> really? So what's, no, up, what's up with your fans to be shocked to know? I don't think it's... No, yeah, think... yeah, let's talk about that. What kind of music do you guys crank up in the van? Uh, all kinds of different stuff. Uh, we were listening to some Amy Winehouse today. We were listening to Fall Out Boy. We were listening to uh, Dr. Dre. We were listening to, uh, you know... Some Eminem. What else were you listening to on the way down here? I listen to Daughtry on my on, <laughs> on my iPod. Daughtry, I love Daughtry. That's, for, that's, a, that's for private listening only. Uh, well, yeah, you know. Yeah. I like Prince. You know, just a lot of different. I mean, like we have a pretty varied sound musically. I mean, yeah. there's a lot of stuff that that we consider influences, and you know, there's a lot of stuff that, that we like and we listen to. You know, so. But listening to you guys, you wouldn't think that you're rocking Amy Winehouse and Prince in the van. That's awesome. Probably not. But then again, you know, whatever. <laughs> You, know, you play with so many bands and you listen to so much different stuff. Who's some other bands right now that you think are really good and up and coming? Uh, the new job for a cowboy is going to be really good. Um, I've heard some of it. It's really heavy. There's a few bands out there that that you know I've heard that are doing cool stuff, but there's a lot. Of, there's so many bands that are doing the same thing. You know, it's just get kind of like I don't know. Do you think metal is almost getting watered down because there's so many bands sounding the exact same? I think that it's more noticeable now because of things like YouTube and things like MySpace. And it's and I'm not trying to say that those are bad things. It's just that anybody that has a band that can get into a studio can go ahead and, and put their stuff up on on the internet and stuff True. like that. And it's it's cool. It's great that there's that ability. But now it, it just gets harder and harder to find you know good bands. I am again. One last question. Who is the biggest partying metal band on the whole circuit? Because you know everybody. Biggest partying? Yeah. Who's, who's the biggest maniacs? Really the biggest maniac? Yeah. You know, I don't know. Unearthed the other night was out of control. What did they do? They were drunk before we even got there the for power our power hour. hour. Which is the hour before they go on, everyone drinks heavily. and so. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It was awful. <laughs> I, think I saw something on their bus. They have some skull with a with a big ball. Like it looks like it's a, basically a beer bong with a big huge skull. And he said they dump Jaeger in it. Oh really? I didn't I didn't see that, but it's a good idea. The band hopes to have the new record, which will again be produced by Adam from Kill Switch Engage, out by summer 2008. Right,